Good evening, Jonathan Bowman Perks, and welcome to the Brit Awards 2019. Um, I thought I'd talk about the topic of humble bragging, which is something we see a lot on LinkedIn and social media. So people tell you, oh, I'm just delighted I've been given an award at the Brit Awards, and here I am, aren't I amazing? Or I've just conquered Everest, and uh, here's a picture of me. Uh, and, and the term humble bragging, I don't know where it first began, but it was my friend Professor Roger Steer uh, who talks a lot about uh, ethics and ethic ability and he was talking about this rather unpleasant habit people have now of humble bragging so I don't want to be humble bragging I've not won any awards I'm just here because of uh, one of the charity awards at the Inspiring Leadership Trust was some tickets to the Brit Awards and we're joining my brother and sister-in-law my wife and I uh, at the Brit Awards to see some of these superstars whose faces are on display down here, people like Rita Ora and others, and uh, there's some big celebrities. But the question is, you know, today a lot of people want to go for celebrity status. They want to be overnight successes, and they want lots of money, and they think that'll make them happy. But it's a, a well-tried path, and just like many of the lottery winners who end up losing it all and going back into penury again, um, happiness isn't about having lots of money or lots of fame. People think they want to be these people, but actually when they get there, they find it's not as great as they think. I remember when I was, uh, some years ago, I was aide-de-camp, ADC, to the head of the British Army. I thought it was a great um, privilege and what a status I had, and we traveled first class on British Airways and went to visit heads of states in Botswana and Kenya and different parts of the world and I and I easily thought I was somebody special but I was not and the general I had who was a bit blunt and to the point uh, General the Lord Inge as he is now or Field Marshal the Lord Inge put me back in my spot and we went on a visit to Hereford to see the SAS and we had a he had a personalized visit and I was there as his bag carrier as his assistant and we went to sit in an auditorium to be briefed about the Iraq war and what the SAS had done and we were briefed by some of the very heroic men who'd fought there um, and I went and sat beside the general and he said what are you doing here go to the back sit at the back don't get carried away with your own self-importance that was a big shock so I went so I went right at the back of the auditorium just him at the front me sitting at the back but I think his point was a fair one just don't get carried away with your own self-importance and keep a sense of proportion with who you are and what you've done in your life because if you're constantly craving success and I'll be happy when I'm famous or I'll be happy when I'm rich you never are so actually be content with far less it's great to come to these events and to enjoy them and I'm sure I'll have a good evening and the after party goes on till 2 a.m. but but don't get carried away with glamour and status and wealth and importance because it's not the root of happiness and happiness is wanting what you already have not getting what you want and I think that point needs to be brought over to us time and again so I'm going to the awards I'm gonna go enjoy them I'll be with my family and having an amazing time and with friends as well but I don't think I'm famous I'm certainly not no one will recognize me but I'm happy in who I am the question is what about you are you happy in who you are or are you getting carried away with your own self-importance? Or are you thinking that you'll only be happy when you get something else? When you get this next big deal or when you get the next promotion, then you'll be happy. No, be happy now. Enjoy the time you have wherever you're at and with whoever you're with. Make the most of it. And don't get carried away with your own self-importance. And more than anything, avoid on LinkedIn or any other mediums doing a lot of humble bragging about how amazing you are and how wonderful you are, but oh, so surprised that you won an award. Anyway, that's the thought for the day. And uh, think about yourself and just being you.